what is going on everyone welcome back to another video so you guys probably haven't seen this uh you know me play this in quite some time but there is a new event that's out which includes the uh the uh, forest guard helm so i'm on the turquoise one right now but as you can see here i managed to get 250 of the damn things took me a very long time, like three, three and a half hours to get all of them, so. There we go. So now we've got the blue one, so this is extremely rare. So the next one is the purple. 400 corrupt. God. I'm gonna cry. Guys, this is a. It's, it's very difficult because a lot of people are obviously getting them. And, um. As you can see, this this world is practically dead anyway, because there's like hardly anyone on. But there's a lot of high levels with mounts and that, that are running around, you know, picking them up. It's very difficult for low levels like me to get them, uh, because they're so quick at killing and like grabbing them. But, you know, <laughs> we finally got it. Uh, these are all the rest of them, so you've got the orange, the yellow, the green, the red, the pink, and the turquoise, and also the green jest, uh, the green hat, which is I have all the other hats on my other world. So, um, but I reckon if I can get to the black or the white ones, um, I can, um, you know, hopefully get some decent coin for them later on in the game. Um, but yeah, that's really all I wanted to show. Uh, I haven't seen anyone with the blue one yet. So, I reckon I'm the only one with it right now, on this world. But, yeah, it's been very difficult grabbing them. Uh, just because of the sheer amount of farming you have to do. It's not really farming, it's just like running around and grabbing them. It's, it's very difficult, because it takes a long time. Um, but... How many more have we got? Oh, we had exactly... The right amount. So yeah, I normally sell these uh, bounty pledges for to, uh, 1.5k to a person on the world, my friend, uh, A3 or A Hood or whatever you want to call him. But anyway, yeah, he he buys these for 1.5k each, so that's a decent amount. That's 4.5k there. So yeah. Um. Oh, all right. I guess he's leaving the clan then. Goodbye. Maybe he's not leaving. But yeah, um, this is a very, uh, very inactive um, world. Uh, not many people play this, but it's actually quite nice because, you know, you don't have to deal with everyone. Be like, oh yeah, can you give me this? Can you give me that? But yeah, anyway, so this is an extremely rare forest guard helm. It's designed to reminiscent of the ancient forest guard who were uh, dedicated to protecting the, uh, of the balance of nature. But yeah, oh, this guy's looking at my stuff. Imagine if he has to buy it. Yeah, I'll give you nine k for it. Whatever. It took me about a million years to get this. Right. So yeah. Uh, actually, I might as well show you the locations of good farming. So, not a lot of people are farming right now. Uh, I came back on about twenty minutes ago, uh, and there was all of them respawned still. So, but uh, for quick. Quick running in that, we'll go around here. So yeah, now we're gonna get the purple, then I'm, I'm pretty sure it's white and black, or black and white, I'm not sure. I would never leave the clan. Okay, yeah, you just demoted yourself for no reason then. But yeah, um, not a lot of people are farming. There was a ranger here uh, at some point, he was annoying, because he just kept he kept hiding in here. And every time every time you get close to them, he'll, um, he'll kill them. And it was, it was just pretty annoying, so. But yeah, we got 398 more to go. Now yeah, as I said, I don't mind. I am among the first few who joined the clan at the beginning. Dude, I honestly, I couldn't care less, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, um... So yeah, this is where you'll find the most uh, of them. They are marked on the map, but of course, you need, obviously, if you, if you don't have a mount like I don't. Uh, you're gonna need to. 
Oh my god. Okay, dude, chill, man. See, as you can see, literally no one's here, so it might be a little bit quicker for me to grab these now. But yeah, yesterday I got all of them up to the turquoise, and obviously this morning it took me three and a half hours near enough to get 250, so. Oh, I can already see myself trying to kill myself at the end of this. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is pretty much what you have to do. There's no easy way of doing it. If you guys would like to buy any of these off me, uh, hit me up. I'm on the world Chrome. Uh, the original world I was on on my iPad, believe it or not. Um, but obviously they have different servers. So. But yeah, my, my class is a, a mage, level 40... 47? 48? 48. 48. Uh, my skills are these. I still have five skill points to spend, but obviously I want to keep them for... Um, you know, upgrading Firebolt on that, so. But no, what I might actually do is, once I've got all of them, because I want to get up to white, because that will be the first ever um, set that I've got to white and black, so. And plus the black one looks pretty good. But I think the white one's the rarest of them all. But yeah, I only managed to get up to the green hat on the... Oh no, someone there. No, literally, you see, no one's here. Like, no one's killing them anymore. They've all given up. Let's have a look at the area. Yeah, there's only, only two other people in the area. And they're level 15, so I doubt they'll be killing these. But yeah. um, This is pretty easy to grab them now. Uh, if you want to hop onto the world, they're new. You know, it shouldn't take you too long to get to level 48. It took me yesterday to get to level 48 because I just kept doing the dragon quest in Fingal's Cave once I got to 40. Um, my other, my clan mates, uh, this is the clan I'm in, uh, Nocturnal Warfare. It's a really good clan. Um, I actually got uh, this weapon off of the old chieftain and also there was a... I had another um, headpiece for the mage. That was... Uh, an old mask, it was an orange mask or something like that, it was one of them back from like 2013 or something like that, but she gave me that for a little bit, uh, just just until I got the dust shadow, but yeah, the only dust shadow piece I need are the leggings and any clan, uh, stolen clan, uh, clan talks or stolen Hong Kong talk, uh, talks, I can't even talk, but yeah, um, I'm so close to levelling up as well, <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you can get two from these, uh, you know, it's highly, like, I doubt you would, but, so it's only taken us about, I don't know, three minutes to get ten, so, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's annoying, but they do spawn very quick, um, practically as soon as you've killed all of these around here, uh, they respawn all again, so you just keep continuously going around, but there's also some in Shamlot Ravine, and I'm not sure if they're in Stonevale yet, uh, I have only made it up to Shamlock Ravine um, and Fingal's Cave. But yeah, if you guys, honestly guys, what I have been doing to get money in this game is I found a couple of people who were, wanted some um, bounty pledges and every single day I just get up, go around, grab all the bounty pledges, you know, because these all spawn and no one's really picking up the bounty pledges because of the dragons um, or the drakes. Uh, no one's really picking them up. So I'm going to make a decent amount of money today. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed um, my other videos on my channel. Uh, I have had a couple of uh, problems, but I'll try and upload a bit more, a bit more now. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we killed them up there and they've already spawned back in, so... You know, it's crazy quick how that they spawn in, but I'm hoping this, I'm hoping to God this uh, archer isn't here again. Okay, he's not here. I don't know where everyone are, uh, everyone is, sorry. Um, there was a lot of people, uh, hang on, let me have a look at my friends, because half of them are, yeah, they're all, yeah, they're, they're all in different places, I don't know why. But yeah, I really like the look of these, they look crazy cool. So the black and the white ones will look really good. Um, my favourite colour is green, but I'm willing to uh, change favourite colours for a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, I'll probably end up selling half of the um, 
half of the ones I'll get. So all of the uh, all of the other ones that I have, like the pink, the red, the blue, um, you know, the purple. Even I'll sell all them and I'll keep the black and the white ones because they're really rare. Obviously, because take forever to get. Um, but yeah, once I don't know, a couple of years have passed. Maybe um, I might sell them if I'm still playing this game. Um, obviously, I I could. It's a possibility that I could not be playing this game. But um, I think half of these will go to the clan bank because uh, they have given a lot to me actually, um, and they've already said you know. We're going to start farming bosses so in, in Stonevale so you can get like sun fragments, deer, you know, and uh, all the uh, all the other ones. So yeah, I actually have to go because my battery's about to die on my earphones. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye. Alexa, what's the time? It's 10 and 
not only do you have to complete a campaign in extra right. mode, which essentially increases enemy intellect and strength to absurd degrees, as well as the frequency and size of hordes, but you will have to play it with realism mode engaged. For those that aren't in the know, this basically turns the witch into a living insta-kill, further increases the durability of all other zombies so that they can only be killed with headshots, and generally tests you and your friends to their very limits. Good luck, buddy. Number five, world's finest, injustice, gods among us. You may well indeed dominate in online matches as your favorite DC superhero or villain, but in order to prove yourself as the greatest of them all, then you have to complete not one, not ten, not a hundred, but all 240 star lab missions. This is usually the part where I quit. Not only do each of these missions put various constraints on the player, as well as force them to play as a particular character, but each mission has three specific requirements that need to be completed. Add all that together, and you essentially have 726 tasks to complete. Yep, that sounds like a job for Superman, all right. Number four, hard to the core. Dead Space 2. Glad to see you've got all your parts. You all right? Um, yeah. Isaac Clark does not have it easy. What with being haunted by a murderous entity posing as his dead girlfriend, all while being surrounded by bloodthirsty necromorphs. If you're a glutton for punishment, though, and think you can handle anything the marker can throw at you, then by all means, give hardcore mode a shot. We guarantee you'll regret it. I don't need your help. Not only are enemies extraordinarily tough, but you only get three chances to save throughout the entire game. One thing is for sure, Isaac is not gonna have a good time. Number three, Ultimate Battler, Star Ocean, The Last Hope. Wanna prove your mettle? Well, all this game asks is that you unlock all of the battle trophies. All 900 of them. That's 100 for each of the nine playable characters in the game. To unlock just one battle trophy, players are required to execute a very specific action, which can range from dealing a very specific amount of damage, attacking the first several hundred times, gaining certain items, interacting with specific characters, and the list goes on and on. Again, this is just for one character, though. Truly, your last hope for this achievement is to wade your way through an ocean of monotony. scattered crew and escape the titular dangerous dimension. With the only obstacle standing in your way being those accursed spikes that are often found in these indie platformers. However, there's a catch. You can't jump. All you can do is reverse gravity to avoid being impaled. So, what could be the most difficult achievement in a game where you're constantly facing death? Well, complete the whole thing without dying, of course. Want to be the master of the universe? Well, your only hope is surviving no death mode by the skin of your teeth. Number one, world champion. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. There can only be one. If you reckon that your skill is sharp enough and your trigger figure is on point, then you might as well try your luck at the Universal Leaderboard where your prize for becoming the number one player in the world earns you this devastatingly difficult achievement. The only way you'll ever hope to see it is constantly winning matches against stronger opponents to increase your rank. And given how many players stand in between you and the most coveted rank, you literally have to be the best in the world in order to achieve this. Picks, check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. in this 
indie hit title can't be completed by just ensuring that our favorite meaty hero manages to make it through the levels without dying once. The problem is that some of these levels are hard as fuck. The most difficult of these, oddly enough, puts the players in the role of Bandage Girl, where they are required to ace all of the Dark World levels in the Cotton Alley chapter, which happen to be fast-paced and built to the brick with death traps. We thought that Meat Boy had a uh... Battlefront. Hope you're a great job with that blaster, because you're going to need it. In order to unlock the title of Master, players must complete all battle missions and conquer survival mode on the hardest difficulty. This means holding your own against enemy forces across planets like Hoth and Tatooine while facing wave after wave of Imperial and Rebel soldiers until your side is the only one left standing. Managing to overcome odds like these truly makes you worthy of the rank. Just be sure to watch out for Darth Vader, because he'll screw you up. You know the power of the dark side. Number five, my kung fu is stronger. World combat. Gain mastery? That doesn't sound so bad. Um, how does one go about gaining mastery? Well, you need to earn 100 victories, perform 100 fatalities, and their subsequent variables, land 150 X-ray shots, spill 10,000 pints of blood, and go through 24 hours of gameplay. Sure, that would take a while by itself, but it's probably manageable, until you realize you have to do it with every single character. Yeah, you have to do everything we just mentioned 28 times with each new character. What's 28 times 4? Anyway, good luck. Number 7, Universal Explorer, World of Warcraft. Best to get those mounts ready, because you're going on one head of a trek across the entirety of Azeroth and much beyond. Explorer. Players not only have to uncover and venture through every region in the eastern 